My name is Marie-Orange Rivelassan. I am an associate professor in Paris Diderot University in France, and uh, I'm a specialist of contemporary uh, Korea history. Um, I have taken part in that mission last December and uh, as a, an interpreter and a specialist about Korea. Uh, how did you go about investigating the death penalty in North Korea? What was your method? So we have not been in North Korea. We have, we have, we have gone in South Korea, South Korea and there we have, uh, we have uh, received the testimonies of North Korean refugees in South Korea. And we have used uh, some uh, associations in the South, some NGOs, South Korean NGOs or North Korean uh, NGOs in South Korea. And also we have uh, seek for information um, at the official uh, institution of South Korea. What kind of um, information could you get through those channels and uh, what are the limitations, the information you could not get? So, of course, we, we had the opportunity to ask questions about death penalty application in North, uh, in North Korea to few people only, but we, we, have, we had access to other testimonies, written testimonies, so we, could, we had the opportunity to cross the information and also we, we had the possibility to ask some specialists uh, to, to understand the evolution of the situation. What is the, the picture you've been able to uh, draw from those testimonies of how the death penalty is used in North Korea? Yeah, it, it seems that the, the North Korean government uh, is sometimes using this death penalty to be like an example for the population. So sometimes they are choosing several categories of uh, people supposed to have had some uh, special crimes, category of crimes. And so the same day, they gather everybody on a big place and they, they, kill, they shoot the people in front of everybody to serve as an example for the population. Um, is there any uh, information about the scale of this use of the death penalty in North Korea? It's difficult to have uh, right figures about the, that subject because uh, it's difficult to rely only on the testimonies. Of course, the North Korean government does not give uh, fix, uh, f official figures about it. But uh, another problem is linked to the fact that some of these executions are secret. So it's very difficult to know the real number of executions in North Korea. Now, everybody around the world is interested in the evolution of North Korea at the moment with the new leader, Kim Jong-un. Um, is there any indication at this stage of how his arrival uh, at the head of the state may impact the use of the death penalty? From my point of view, we cannot see a lot of change on that side. Maybe the report we are doing will have some impact, but I, I don't know exactly. It seems that uh, Kim Jong-un is not a revolutionary person and is more, is more using the existing uh, system to, to control uh, the country. So this special tool of death penalty maybe is not uh, changing a lot now.